Hi, welcome to Vintage Jewelry Galore. My name's Anna, and today I'm going to go over how I date necklaces by looking at the clasp, the findings, and hallmarks if there are any. The first necklace we're going to look at, let's look at it there for a minute. It is a black and red art glass necklace. Now, by looking, I know that this has an inside box clasp. I know that the inside box clasp was originally created and used in the late 18th century. Let's open it up. But the older clasp were shaped like a V and much smaller and fragile than this one is. Shaped like a square. It's a little stronger. So I date this clasp early 1900s to mid-1950s maybe 60s but looking a little further there's no there is no hallmark i'm looking at the glass and i see aurora borealis on it now the aurora borealis crystals were in rhinestones were originally created in 1955 and they were used very heavily in the 1950s and 1960s i have a pair of clip earrings that go along with this by looking at both just or just looking at the necklace i would date this mid 1950s to late 1950s possibly early 1960s but i'm going towards the 1950s mid 1950s with this the next necklace and clasp type i am going to discuss a spring clasp i have a necklace here it looks like a pair of rosary beads it's beautiful it has a little tassel on the end of it the findings are let's look at that we've got aurora borealis crystal brass with aurora borealis rhinestones encased in them and we have a spring clasp now the spring clasp is originally created in 1920s early 1920s but the original ones this piece here the original spring clasp this piece would be closer down to there that part there uh, against the ring it would be closer down so this is also a brass um, spring clasp. I know there were borealis, as I just mentioned, was uh, created in 1955 and used heavily during 1950s, 1960s. I would date this by the style of it, the design, the way it looks, 1960s, early to mid 1960s on that. I have another spring clasp. Now this one is a Sarah Coventry necklace. The only findings of this is the fact that it's silver tone metal design is has a little flower on it's pretty a g in cursive again a spring clasp this uh, piece on the spring clasp is sticking out a little bit further than on the other necklace i can tell just off the bat that this is not this is a little older than the last necklace i looked at now you turn it over and it's upside down but you have the sarah coventry just sarah with the C in a circle copyright. Now I know that, that they'd start using that trademark in 1951. So this necklace is post-1951. How do we determine? My initial guess was I was thinking 1970. So I Google-insed it. And this design necklace comes up as the personally yours, um, you know, us. Uh, jewelry for that Sarah Coventry had in the mid-1970s, and it does look like a 1970s necklace, so I was correct on that one. That is correct. The next uh, type of clasp that we're going to look at is a barrel clasp. I only have one. This is a Native American, it's like a tribal necklace to me, but anyways, it's, <laughs> it's Native American um, necklace hair made. The findings are silver and red jasper stone. It has a barrel clasp that's also silver. Now it's handmade. It's hard to date this. I do know that the newer Native American jewelry has markings on it, but there still could be somebody making modern um, Native American jewelry without markings if it's a small time, you know, somebody making it who's a small time maker and seller. So it's really hard to date this, but I'm looking at the design of it, I want to say 1980s to 1990s on this, but I won't put it up for sale because I collect stones, so that's one that I will be keeping. The S hook is next. I have two necklaces, one Monet and one Trafari. The first one I'm going to show you is a gold tone 
Monet leaf necklace. Now the findings of this is that it is heavy gold tone metal. Now these S hook class, this hair was used a lot during the 1950s and 60s on heavy jewelry. And this is a heavy necklace. There is no hallmark on the clasp. But we go over here and we have a hanging tag that I know by researching Monet started using during the 19, early 1950s. And there is the hallmark. And investigated this hallmark. And that hallmark they'd started using in 1951 without the C in a circle for the copyright in a circle. You know, the... All right. Uh, why is it so hard to get that to focus? But anyways, I just had a good focus of it, but let's go again. Well, in 1955, they started using the same hallmark with the copyright, the C copyright, in a circle. Goodness, it's so hard to get a clear picture. There we go. So in 1955, they used the same hallmark, but it had the C inside of a circle. So I can competently confidently uh, place this necklace between 1951 and 1955. The gold tone leaf Monet necklace. Choker necklace. Early, early to mid 1950s. The next one is a beautiful Trafari necklace. This is silver tone. Also has the S hook. Let me show it to you. It's a very small necklace, measures 16 inches from end to end. Now this necklace does have the Trafari hallmark right on the hook. Let me get it up there. I know that the older necklaces were, um, this is Trafari if the copy right after it. And that necklace, they, I, I had to read up on this a little bit. That mark, that hallmark was used from 1950s to the 1970s. Now, looking at the size of the necklace and the style, I would say this is a necklace from the 1960s is most likely my estimation on that. The very next one that I'm going to look at is a toggle clasp. And I have one. That's all I have with me that I'm going to do. This is a... Monet, let me straighten out my camera, I'm sorry. Monet, tiger eye stone with marcasite. Gold tone, metal, more marcasites adorning the toggle. And tiger eye beads all on the little, on the chain. Now, this one has a clear hallmark, hallmark on the bottom. Originally, I was thinking this necklace was from the 1950s. Because the signature hallmark almost looks exactly the same. All capital M-O-N-E-T. The difference is, see how we have here? This M piece is dipping down to the bottom. In the older Monet hallmark, it's up higher. So this necklace, the hallmark is dating in the um, 1990s. So, and it does look like a 1990s necklace when I think about it. It doesn't look like a 1950s necklace like I initially was thinking the hallmark was. So, 1990s sounds good for that one. The very last types of necklace that I'm going to go over are lobster claw. I have an interesting thing here. This is the safety clasp, Monet's signature safety clasp that is really the original lobster claw. Patented and used in the late 1970s by Monet. So I know the necklace is dating 1970s or beyond. Look at that. It's a statement necklace. Gold tone, gold plated. It's a statement necklace. I would guess 1980s or 90s on that. We'll see what I think when I'm done with this. Now, I have the homework on this Monet. Let me get a picture of it. It's backwards. Let's turn it around. Am I? It's not easy. Hold on. Sorry, I gotta give it a minute to focus. Am I too close to it? 
I don't have a flasher. I just had a picture of it like before. There we go. It's Monet, capital M, small O N E, and the T is curved at the bottom with a C, copyright C, and a circle in the beginning of it. And that hallmark is dating between the 1980s and 90s. Now, looking at the necklace, I'd say that's a 1980 statement necklace here. Let's see it again. Let's make it smaller. It's pretty, too. It's a nice statement necklace. I have one last necklace to show. And this one is a very beautiful, once again, a Monet. Looks like a Victorian era necklace, doesn't it? It's, it's just beautiful. Look at that. Marcasite stones, glass beads, dangling. It's titanium plated. Now, it is a modern lobster claw on this one. Titanium plated as well. Now, it has a tag hanging off of it, a homework. And this homework, it's Monet in a circle. This is 1990 or later. I'm trying to get a close-up of it. There we go. I date this necklace. I know it's 1990 or later. I need to get the book to see if it's in there. It's one I'm not selling presently. Well, I do have it up for sale, but I have it up high on Mercury. But anyways, that's it for my video. I will make other ones as I get more jewelry with clasps that I can show that I have on my own hand and haven't sold. I will keep them and make the video before I sell them. Anyways, please subscribe to me if you haven't as of yet. And give me a thumbs up. And check that ring out. Look at that. I will have more helpful videos, and I will continue to improve as I make my videos. Thank you for your time if you got this far.